Hi. It seems like when um, I first moved out, I was so relieved to be out of the the pain of it and the unhappiness that I was elated. And um, I didn't know that I would really miss him and miss my old life and that when all of the pain kind of subsides and all the bad stuff drains away, all that's left are the memories of the good parts. I can't keep thinking about it. And um, when I'm here alone, I miss him. I don't know if I'm just pathetic and sad or whether I made a mistake, but I miss, I miss him. I think it's too late. I don't know, maybe it's just a bad day. You know, maybe it just goes up and down so much that it's just a bad day. Anyway. It's not a bad day. Uh, you absolutely made a horrendous mistake. Probably the biggest mistake of your life, which many of these women make, is leaving their husband, right? Especially these, it really saddens me when I see these middle-aged women, right? These middle-aged women who are in their, like, late 40s, early 50s, who are leaving a guy that they've been with since the late 80s or early 90s, right? Um leaving these guys because they were sold on a dream. They were sold a bill of goods that if they just divorce their husbands, if they just left that son of a bitch, they'll finally be happy. You'll finally be free, girl. You'll be free to leave, lead a life of complete freedom and hedonism, right? You can have any guy you want once you divorce him. You'll have guys crawling all over to message you on these dating apps. I know these women are telling them this lie, this lie, right? They're telling this stuff, but they're not giving them like the full truth. They're not giving them the full reality. It's like, yeah, you will get guys messaging you on the dating app, but uh, they will be guys who just want to bang and get out of there, ejaculate and evacuate. They won't be guys who will stick around like your husband. They won't be guys who will care for you. They will be guys who are very flaky, guys who will use you to no end, who will treat you like a sperm bucket won't value you, will never invest in you, and will definitely never put a ring on your finger, right? That's what you're in for. You're leaving a guy in a house and often kids and a dog, right? That you once cared about, that you built a family with, to what? To do what, right? To move into a, a tiny junior studio apartment in the middle of the city that's gonna cost you $3,000 a month, like it does in San Francisco where I'm from, or LA where I am now. You know, uh, yeah, I, I mean, what are you thinking? I, I, I mean, this is why I say these chicks just do not think things through. They're not like guys where we will weigh the consequences. We will weigh like whether it's worth the risk or not to do whatever we're about to do. Right. We will think things through. But these chicks, no, they're just impulsive. They'll listen to other women talk about like, oh, yeah, things will be just uh, it will be like paradise leaving this guy, but many times, if not most times, it's not, right? Many of these women are, uh, you know, they're, they don't realize what's, you know, what they're in for when they, when they get out there and try to date again and try to date and uh, compete for men that much younger, much more fertile women are competing for. And realizing that they can't compete with them you know so uh yeah and then realizing they can't replace their husband like this chick is realizing like oh i don't think i can go back yeah that guy your husband he can get back out there believe me if anybody's gonna win on these dating apps it will be him not you it will be him right he will be winning and i've seen a number of cases already where these women were just thought they were all big and bad Ooh, 45 leaving that bastard that loser behind and that loser that you just left got back on the dating apps and he replaces a girl with a teenager, right? Like an 18 or 19 year old. I've read a story on that. I think I might have even covered on my channel. Like this dude, like literally left, you know, the marriage broke apart. 
um, they were like in their mid forties. He went out and he started dating like this, this 18 year old who lived a few houses down and that chick moved into his house. And now the ex-wife who still lived in the neighborhood had to see this little girl who she remembered as a little girl. Now her, her ex-husband's wife, you know, he's like taking the place of that. And now that, you know, uh, this little girl is now living in the same house, uh, married to her ex-husband that she is no longer married to. It's a bad bet, ladies. Bad bet, because men always win. The older, the older you get, the worse it gets for you as a female. That's why you got to stay married. Don't divorce your husbands. Don't make that mistake. Next clip. I've been talking to my mom, and she said I'm on my own because I'm a hard person to love. I'm independent. I don't need anyone, but I do need someone. But when people love me, I push them away. And I don't know why that is. She's, and she's like, men don't like women that are hard to love. Men don't like women that are independent. They don't. They want a woman they can look after and you're not that person. So I've come to the conclusion I am doomed to be alone forever just because I'm hard to love. sound at least she's honest with herself right that she is doomed to be alone because she's hard to love i mean unfortunately she did not inherit her mother's wisdom her mother is pretty much being based right she's telling her my guys don't want an independent woman they don't don't even mention that word around them right it's true right who i mean i don't know how many guys out there like hey guys who wants a, a an independent woman strong and independent and empowered no, nobody wants that, right? Nobody wants that because for us, what that what that translates to uh, in our heads is this chick is gonna be a nightmare. This chick is gonna cause constant friction in my life, conflict, chaos. I don't want that. I want peace, like M says, right? Men want peace. That's what I want. I want what M says. He wants peace. I want peace. So yeah, I'm not surprised. And this chick has really just kind of screwed the pooch on this because. Uh, you know, I mean, she's not getting any younger. She looks like she's already in her like mid to late thirties. It's already bad and downhill for her at this point. Plus with the attitude, I mean, it's, she's not gonna, she, you know, unfortunately, yeah, she's gonna live a pretty miserable, lonely life. And it's really her own fault because she could easily adjust her attitude and be like, okay, I, I, I want a guy and I want him to feel wanted. That's another big thing, ladies. You, Your guy has to feel like you want him you need him. He has to feel like he is of service in some way. But but if you're like this, I'm a boss, babe, badass, alpha bitch. I can do everything myself. And he doesn't feel like he's useful in the relationship. You know, he'll just, he might show up when you call, but then he's just going to be keep exploring his options. You know, all you independent females out there. So, uh, yeah. And not to mention she, of course, she's got to have like the the ridiculous basketball lips why do you why do you chicks do this to yourselves i mean do you understand that you look you you look like you're coming from special ed or something you look like you're a special needs kid you know and no offense is special needs kids are re, you know kids are retarded or anything like that i'm just saying that's how you look right that's how you're coming off you're coming off as if you have some sort of retardation right and yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm not you know i'm not trying to get canceled i'm not you know saying anything against that uh, community um, because, uh, yeah, I mean, why, why do you do this to your, why do you do this to your face? I mean, there are so much statistics out there that say men don't like that. Even women who do that don't like that. They don't, they don't look positively on women who get plastic surgery. Um, it just reeks of insecurity and self-loathing. Yeah. I mean, I just, whenever I see a woman with like the fake lips, I just think she hates herself. I'm like, she doesn't think she's enough. She has low self-esteem and she doesn't appreciate what God gave her and she can't love herself. How could she love me, right? How could she be in a relationship with me? She doesn't even like herself. And, I, and I'm right, right? I'm right. Most of these chicks, the reason why they do all this stuff is because deep down they hate themselves, right? They don't like themselves. So on to the next clip, shall we? Back to the whole dating thing um i have met like i said before i met some really really nice people but the 
connecting with him is a different story. Like, I guess spiritually, like, I don't know, deep connection thing. It's just, uh, just, it's just not there. They're very nice people, but like, it's just like surface talk. It's, it's not like that, that, I don't know. I guess it's just not the kind of talk I'm looking for. Like, it just, just doesn't do it. There's no, there's no fire. There's no, like, depth, I guess. I guess that's the word for it. There's just no depth. Here we have yet another middle-aged woman in her 50s who is suffering from the same problem that many of the women in her same shoes is suffering from, which is uh, high standards, right? These guy, these girls still want the same level of guys that they were getting back in 1988. You cannot have that same level of guy. Say, I hate to break it to you, right? You don't look the same way you did back in 1988, okay? You are now a 50-some-odd-year-old woman. You cannot get the same level of guy you did back then when Bobby Brown was at the top of the charts, right? An MC Hammer and all that. Mm -mm. No, okay? You have to realize it is now, you know, you're, you're 50 some odd years old now, right? You have to lower your standards if you want to find a man because this, those guys that you're trying to go after, guess what? All the other women that are on those same apps that you are are also trying to get those same guys. Okay, you have to ask yourself, like, am I being realistic here? Am I being honest with myself? Or am I pulling a snow job on myself? You, I mean, really, at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. You're just not being honest with yourself. You're lying to yourself, right? And um, if you want companionship, especially a guy who will stick around, you have to go for a guy who's much older than you. Sorry, sorry to tell you, maybe a guy who's like a grandpa or whatever. Um, that guy will be more likely to stick around. Yeah, but you don't want that, do you? You want the hot guy with the six-pack abs still. Even though you don't have six-pack, you have more like a 24-pack going. Right? So like a 24-pack going abs. So, yeah, I'm pretty fit. But, yeah, I keep in shape. <laughs> um, but for a lot of these women, they don't, right? And I'm 52. Man, what's your excuse, right? This chick looks like she's been uh, at, uh, you know, chowing down on the uh, happy hour nachos and the happy hour wings a little too much. Right? So not only is she you know, pass her expiration date here, but, um, you can't be getting those guys. So when she talks about how oh, I'm just meeting guys where I'm not feeling it, the reason you're not feeling it is because you think you deserve more and really you don't, right? The reason why these guys are messaging you that you don't feel anything for is because you're not used to that. You're not used to getting guys at your level. Are you, you're not getting used to guys who are your equal. Are you? No, 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 no. You're used to getting guys that were hotter. Uh, before you married your husband that you've now divorced and now you're stuck out there, you know, dealing with these dudes that you don't want. I mean, it just never, never ends, the circle of self-destruction. But as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below, and I will see you there in my comments. And with that said, I am going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. More importantly guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe to my channel. So please make sure you're subscribed and also uh, feel free to share my coaching videos with other like-minded friends of yours who also want to become their best versions of themselves. Not only do I want you to subscribe, but I also want you to tell your friends about our channel and have them subscribe as well so we can reach other men, okay? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the exact same type of women that myself and my students are out there cold approaching and bringing into our lives 
every single week. And I kid you not, guys, we're doing this every single week. We're doing this consistently, okay? consistently we're not having any dry spells or anything like that we're doing this consistently this is the absolute best way to support my work and right now it's only a buck this is the absolute best way to support my work so if you love what I do if you love my content if you love my DeLorean I love this car then jump into seven months of mastery uh, it's really easy to get signed up all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it only takes two seconds so do that now and i will see you in my next coaching video